A Chinese rocket is on its way to the moon with a mission to bring back rock samples back down to Earth. It's the first attempt by any nation to retrieve lunar samples since the 1970s. China has poured billions into its space pro program and the probe's mission is a chance to show global competitors just how advanced it's become. This launch is a milestone for China, a spacecraft that symbolises the country's technological prowess and its military might. The unmanned rocket blasted off early on Tuesday morning local time from Hainan Island in the south. Destination, the moon. The Aerospace Control Centre reports that the Long March 5 rocket lifted off normally and the Chang'e 5 spacecraft has entered orbit as planned. I can now announce that the launch mission of Long March 5 has been completed successfully. The Chang'e 5 rocket is made up of several components. One is the lander, which will dig for rocks and soil. These materials will then be transferred into the return capsule for the journey back to Earth. Our current lunar program consists of three phases, orbiting, landing and returning. The Chang'e 5 will carry out the third phase, bringing moon samples back to Earth. We hope this will be a success. If successful, it would be the first time in four decades that material has been brought back from the moon. China's space ambitions are no secret and have been growing for years. In 2003, it secured a major breakthrough when it became the third country in the world to send a human into space. Ten years later, China hit another milestone, successfully landing an unpiloted spacecraft on the moon. It was the first soft landing since the Soviet Union's success in 1976. More Chinese cheers in January 2019 in a global first. A lunar probe touching down on the far side of the moon, boosting China's space ambitions. Mars is also in its sights. This year, Beijing launched an unmanned probe to the planet. In July, it put the final satellite into orbit for its Chinese navigation system, the country's rival to US-owned GPS. But this lunar mission to bring back material from the moon is one of China's most ambitious to date, and one that Beijing is determined will be another success. Joining me now is Blethyn Bowen. He's an expert for space warfare, space policy and international relations in outer space at the University of Leicester. Dr Bowen, thanks for joining DW. What's the scientific importance of this mission? Rocks have been brought back from the moon before. Uh, good morning. Um, the scientific importance is that uh, they could always do with more materials to analyse and um, they are going to be from um, yet more different uh, areas as well. So uh, as far as my limited understanding of the science goes, um, those are sort of the, the major elements because um, the amount of material brought back in the past has been very limited. To, so any more material is always a good thing for more scientific uh, tests to be done. All right, so China has ambitious plans for space, including the building of its own space station. Is it pure science that is driving these plans? So um, when we talk about China's space program, it's important to think of uh, the exploration, uh, whether robotic or crude, is maybe one program among many space programs in China. So um, I would separate the scientific and civil and exploration space program from the um, economic, commercial, military and intelligence space programs as well. So at the moment now, China has launched or has registered within this state around 350 plus satellites and they provide all sorts of essential services um, down on Earth for military and economic and infrastructural purposes. The um, space science and exploration, that's very much about stimulating high-tech industry 
also as, as um, uh, partly for uh, techno-nationalist purposes as well, which is not unique to China, um, and sort of the propaganda and prestige rationales behind it as well of demonstrating China's high-tech space capability. So any large space program has a lot of motivations behind it, but it is important, I think, to separate the space station, uh, which is fairly benign compared to the more military elements of China's um, other parts of its space program. OK, well, are China's space plans creating sort of a competition with other programs such as the American and European? Um, I, I would downplay sort of an intentional uh, competition because um, China's becoming uh, a comprehensive space power. It's, it's doing so on the back of its wider modernization of its economy and military and infrastructure. And space is part of modern economic and, and military development. So that is sort of it's, it's entirely normal behavior, really, that China is investing in these massive spread of space capabilities. Naturally, that does raise some concerns, but in many ways, China is catching up to where the United States has led over 30, 40 years ago in terms of space infrastructure. And I would I would not sort of reduce China's actions based on what other people are doing in space as well. China developing its space systems of all kinds according to its own timetables and is not rushing about it either. It's taking its time to do it right. OK, Blethyn Bowen, an expert for space warfare from the University of Leicester. Thanks very much. Thank you.